Hello and welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's another word problem on volume of cubes and cuboids. Okay, it says that containers A, 6 cm by 5 cm by 4 cm. Okay, and here's the container. It's given to us. The length is 6 cm. The breadth is 5 cm. And the height is 4 cm. Okay, so uh, the numbers, the figures in the bracket give you the dimensions of the container. Okay. All right, so containers A, B, and C, okay, each of the dimensions are given here, and the containers are drawn here with the numbers on them, okay, the dimensions on them. All right, these three are rectangular containers. Okay, so they are rectangular containers, which means they are cuboids. Now, at first, container A is filled with water to its brim. Okay, so actually, let me put some water here into container A, since it's filled to the brim, which means... It's filled to the top. Okay, so container A is filled with water to its brim while containers B and C are empty. So these two guys are empty. Next, some water from container A is poured into containers B and C so that container B is completely full while container C is half full. Find the height of the water left in container A. Okay, so next what happened was some water from this container was poured into B as well as into C. Okay, so actually let's draw that here. Okay, let's see what happened afterwards. Okay, after water was poured from container A into containers B and C. Okay, so I have the outline of the containers here. Okay, so water from container A was poured into container B such that container B was filled to the top. Right, that's what it says. Container... B is completely full. Okay, so container B is completely full, which means that this is completely full. Okay, now what about the water level in container C? Well, container C is half full, which means that if this is the height of container C, which is 2 centimeters, okay, then water was filled until halfway, which means until 1 centimeter, right? So let's do that. Let me mark that here first. Okay. So this is how much water was filled in container C. Okay, so that's done. Now how about the height of water left in container A? Well, obviously when some water was poured into B and C, then container A was no longer full, right? It was a little empty, so maybe the water level reduced to this height. Okay, let's see about this height. So let's uh, do that here. Let's mark that on the figure on the container okay so the water level reduced and now container a has got this much amount of water all right so this was all before and this is all after after water from a was poured into b and c Okay, now we have to find out the height of the water left in container A, which means we have to find out this height. Okay, what is this equal to this level of water equal to? All right, how do we do that? Well, one thing that did not change was the total quantity or the total volume of water. Now, how much was the total volume of water at first? At first, B and C were empty. There was water only in container A. So if we can find out the capacity or the maximum volume of container A, then we'll know how much water was there at first, right? And there is same amount of water later as well. Okay, so let's find out how much water was involved. So volume, can okay, we plug everything into the equation that we know of volume? Volume is equal to length, L for length, B for breadth, and H for height. So volume or maximum volume or capacity is equal to the length times the breadth times the height of the container. In which container? Container A, because that was the only one that was filled, right? So length of container A is 6, its breadth is 5, and its height is 4. So that tells us that 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 4 is 120. So there was 120 cubic centimeters of water involved.
right that was the volume of water at first as well as later all right now some water from a was poured into b and into c so how much water was poured into b well if container b was filled to the brim then the amount of water poured into container b would be the capacity would be equal to the capacity of the container right so volume of container b is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 the length of container b times the breadth of container b times the height of container b that would be 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 times 3 is 60 so it's 60 cubic centimeters right and the volume of container C, well, actually, we don't want to find out the volume of container C. We want to find out the volume of water in container C because container C was not filled to the top. So we don't want to find out the capacity of the container, but we only want to find out the volume of water present in the container. Okay. So now container C was half full, right? Container C was half full, which means that the height of water level was one centimeter. If the total height of the container is 2 cm, then half of that would be 1 cm, right? Quite simply. So the volume of water, actually volume of water in container C is equal to 3 times 3, the length times the breadth, times half the height. And half the height means half of 2, which is 1. That would mean 3 times 3 times 1, which is 9 cubic centimeters. Okay, so out of a total of 120 cubic centimeters, we poured 60 cubic centimeters into container B and 9 cubic centimeters into container C. So then how much water was left in container A? Quite simply, 120 minus 60 minus 9. Okay, okay so let's make some space here first. So 120 minus 60 minus 9. How much is that equal to? Well, 120 minus 60 is 60. And 60 minus 9 is 51. So 51 cubic centimeters of water was left in container A. So the amount of water present here is 51 cubic centimeters or centimeter cube. Now we have to find out the height of water left in container A and this volume of water left in container A is going to help us find that out. Okay. Now how so? Well quite simply just like before we use the formula for volume to find out the height. Okay. So let's see. Volume of water in container A is equal to the length of the container times the breadth of the container times the level or the height of water in container A. So the height of water level. Okay. Now the volume of water in container A, we know that is equal to 51 cubic centimeters, right? So 51 centimeter cube is equal to length, which is 6 centimeters, times breadth, which is 5 centimeters, times the height of water level. We want to find that out. I'm going to just write H for short, okay? And H means this height, okay? Not the top, not till the top, just this height. So this is H. All right. Now, 51 centimeter cube is equal to 6 centimeters times 5 centimeters times the height of water level. Now, how do we find out the height of water level from this equation? We simply divide 51 by 6 and by 5, right? So 51 divided by 6 divided by 5 will give you the height of water level in container A. And what is that equal to? Well, 51 divided by 6. Let's see that. If we divide, actually we divide both of these by 3. So this will give you 2 and this will give you 17 because 17 times 3 is 51. Okay, so we have 17 divided by 2 times 5, which is 10. So 17 divided by 10 which means 1.7 centimeters. So the height of water left in container A is equal to 1.7 centimeters. And that's the answer to this word problem. So long for now. I hope you got what I taught. And I hope that now you'll go and practice some problems or take some tests as usual at www.homecampus.com.
dot sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye bye.